Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So the last time the Night Gaunts engaged the Red Reapers didn't go very well. The Dragon's Rejects were able to catch up to the Red Reaper convoy, taking away the salvage that we had led, had to leave on the battlefield. But now the Night Gaunts have been quickly refit and we're going to throw them back into the battle. We've heard of a Red Reaper unit moving in the open, so we've decided to take them on. We're hoping that the info the Red Reapers get off this battle leads them to believe we have more units than we actually do. Okay, so we got enemy forces here. We're just going to move up. We're going to quickly move into battle here. Now, I'll talk about the loadouts here as we go. Um, I did have to make a few compensations. Understood. Moving fast. Based on the units that we had and what damage we took. Okay, we've, got, we've got a full lance of guys up here. We got a line holder, centurion, Vulcan, another centurion, another centurion. Owens, weapons carrier back here. Okay, so we've got some good competition here, it looks like. Right, well, we hope it's going to be good competition anyway. 11%, 13. Gonna take. Um, yeah, let's go after the Centurion. I'm going to leave the LRMs off for now. Switch to standard ammo. We're just going to take a, a, a pot shot with the uh, ERPPC. If we miss him, we may hit somebody else. Nah, we'll, we'll try trying. So, uh, the loadouts are slightly different, and we, we do have um, seven mechs into play now. I was able to expand the dropship a little bit. I pulled off a couple of uh, off-camera mi uh, missions to be able to expand the uh, um, our drop capacity, so we can drop one more mech. Uh, and in the process of doing that, I actually was able to pick up a... Um, let's just move into... Let's move into here so they can't shoot us. I was able to pick up a... Uh, another part of a bandit hovercraft so we're we actually have a bandit hovercraft now and I chose the ATM 9 version we had three different versions one had a pair of SRM6s um, one had um, medium pulse laser SRM6 and uh, a clan heavy medium laser and then the one had an ATM 9 I went with the ATM 9 version because we're basically using our guys as a long-range fire support so here's the Cougar. The Cougar got ruined last episode. Like it, I mean, the whole side got wiped out. So um, I've kind of re-outfit this guy a little bit. Um, it's going to be a l running a little bit different. We went back to the Ultra 10 on this thing. Going to move up here and going to leave it here, I guess, for now. Let's just stop here. So we've got an Ultra 10 and a Streak 4 and a Streak 2. I went back to the uh, low heat version because we don't have a double heat sink kit for it. So it's operating fairly hot. Um, so yeah, I kind of had to get creative with a couple of the builds based on the gear that we had. Now, a couple of the offline missions I took, um, I did take a couple against clan units, and I did actually, in the role, picked up a couple of uh, clan LRM-20s, which I haven't used. They're, they're off the mechs here, because I just didn't want to use them right away. If, we, if we're going to use them later on, we will, but for right now, I'm just I'm just saying we didn't we don't have access to them right now, so I'm not going to include them right away. Let's just move over here. Aye, aye. We want to get a little closer with these guys, I think, before we start opening fire. So yeah, there's a there's a there's another mech in play here. We've got the Grendel up and running. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this guy because I didn't really have a lot of stuff for it. Uh, but I think the loadout is actually not that bad. I want to get this guy as a close range brawler mech because it is actually rather rather fast, right? Yes, Commander. Um. So here's the Kit Fox that we took. We lost the ATM-6 and an ER medium laser off of. So I added a, a, a medium laser magnet and an MRM-10. Um, so it's roughly the same loadout as we had before. Let's just get into here. All Not quite the same loadout, but roughly the same. It's dishing out about the same amount of damage. Um, but it's going to be the it's going to be the support like uh, close range support mech. So not. I'm not too um, worried that that worried about it. I've got eyes on hostile of course you do. They're heading your way. I hope they are. All right. Order. So here's the uh, the um, the bandit. Now the thing I like about this thing is this thing is like armor heavy. So 222 on the front, 200 on the side, 90 on the back. So we're going to be keeping our front to the enemy most of the time. Uh, and this thing's got plenty of ammo. So. It's got a ton of uh, HE, a ton of regular, and a ton of extended range ammo. So we can just, you know, 
we've got like, like wow they got more guys back here they got a lot of guys back here 4% 7.9 why is it so good in the Wavern that's the extended range is the standard yeah I guess it's just because it's extended range well, we're going to take the good chance to hit. We might as well take a pot shot in this ra uh, waiver in here. All weapons, go. So somebody up there has got a gas rifle. There's a lot of things I'd like to do with these units, but once again, like I said, we're, we're limited by what we have. So this was our LRM boat before. Um... We lost a lot of LRMs off this thing and all the Artemis ammo. So um, I decided to load it out a little differently. So we got an Ultra 5 at ER Medium and an LRM 25 on this guy. So it's not too bad. Um, still, once again, not the perfect loadout uh, by any means, but still not a bad loadout for uh, direct firepower. Once these guys get a little closer, we're just going to we're just going to choose one target at a time and just shred them. On you, All right, Commander. we had to pick up a new pilot for this, so we got a new pilot in the Grendel. The thing about the Grendel is it's it's really high. It's a like highly mobile, right? It's like a what, 45 ton mech, or 40 ton mech, and the thing is pretty darn mobile. So I turned it in like it's pretty much our fastest mech. It's like a 710 movement speed, right? Plus it's got built-in jump jets, so we do have some range that we can jump into if we if we need to. But I outfitted this thing with seven ER, like clan ER media or small lasers and some inc like incendiary rocket 30. So we do have the ability to um, uh, get some close in damage. Now the, the clan ER small lasers fire up to 400 meters. So they're actually, the range isn't actually that bad on these things. So, but the idea with this guy is to get him in close and do a lot of backstabbing and stuff if we can. His armor's maxed out too, so it's pretty good overall. I'm worried about these Centurions and their ACs though. So yeah, that's those are the new loadouts. They're, I mean, it's not bad. We'll see how it goes. We're still lacking some gear, but you know, you know things will get better. They have to, right? <laughs> All right. I'm here. All right, Rose. Uh, Rose, why any other name? All right, let's get up here. 15 on that guy. 8 on this guy. Let's just take a pot shot at the Owens here. Oh, we got, what do we got back there? So he's missing two energy weapons. Osprey, but I think he's stuck out of bounds, I think. That, this map has still got that problem where there's oftentimes one or two things up here that are stuck out of bounds. We'll just say that he's the, uh, he's an observer. So they got a full on medium lance here. Systems holding. Yeah, we're gonna come out like gangbusters. Holding firm. Gonna try and steamroll those guys, I think. So there is something else up in that corner that we haven't seen. Ready for orders. Let's get up here. We need to push, we need to push hard, I think. Okay, this centurion goes on 16. That's pretty good chances to hit though. This guy's indirect only. This guy is the same. That's the A. They're both the same. Let's go after a side shot on this guy. If we can blow through his side, this Terran, hopefully we can get a quick kill on him. Uh, I'm going to Warlord this. We're going to Warlord off the top, I think. Give us a little bit of a chance to hit at range. This with the PPC, okay. I'm ready. I considered trying to do a, a, a heavy laser build, like a, a large heavy laser build, but that thing is 65 heat and there, I just didn't have the heat sinking or the ability to do it. Like I could probably do it, but I just wouldn't have the ability to um, 
Uh, let's use this now. Um, I just wouldn't have the ability to um, add a lot of other weapons. So we'd be like focused just on that and then, you know, nothing. Like there's like nothing else I could really add to it. Uh, yeah, we need to push you. We need to push. Push, 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 push. Firing. Okay, tag's on. That's important. I hear you. That's really important. Okay, you can't get that far up there, eh? Hey. What you. can I do for you? Let's get up here. Turbo. So our ultra t uh, the Ultra 10's not that bad. We got 12 turns in continuous double shot firing, which is pretty good. Okay, there's the other guy. It's it, Oh, it's a Spectre. Okay. Large laser, Galleon 27. Let's take a paw shot in the Galleon. Uh, I'm going to single shoot this one just because it's such a low chance to hit. Got it. Yeah, whatever. Get you next time. I don't want to be jamming when I get up in where the Centurions are. Centurions. Three of them. Three A's. Yeah, screw you. We gotta push really hard. Commander. Really hard here. Let's just move you into here. Didn't have quite have the juice for this, but that's fine. Uh, we'll drop some standard. We got lots of ammo for the ATM, so we'll just drop it on this guy. Nothing. Well, it said nothing, but it's, it did say 20% damage reduction, so maybe we clipped them with one, who knows. So they got five up here. Which means they might have six, because these guys have six down here. Well, that's a nice spread. System's holding. Damage minimal. It's going to add up, so just be careful. Just be careful. I can't wait till that bandit hovercraft gets in close and is able to get behind people. Alright, buddy. Yep. Not the best positioning, but we're going to take it. And let's hope we don't shoot our own guy in the back here. I think we'll probably be fine. Let's turn off the low chance to hit and we'll fire the rest. We got lots of lerms. No AC hits, looks like. Alright, that's not bad. Low damage, but I mean, he's got a little bit of instability. So that's the Osprey up there. Did he move? Or is he just standing there? I think he's just standing there. Which is really sucky because he's going to be like a mobile or a uh, static Gossam placement for the whole battle. Five of them, that's nice. I think he just stood there. Yeah, I don't think he can move. So he's stuck up there. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah. Somebody's got uh, some swarm ammo. Wayburn. Probably a Lerm, Lerm SRM boat. Alright, we got our vehicles now. Alright, Marlin. Look at this thing. I love the fact that it's got such good movement because it's a hovercraft. You know, it's garbage through the trees, but that's fine. But the fact that it's got an ATM-9, it can hit hard, and it's got a lot of armor. This is a huge upgrade in vehicle for us. 60%, 72%. This is the guy we've been shooting at, right? No, it's not. This is the guy we've been shooting at here. 47. Let's go with the best chance to hit. Let's just hammer this guy. Um, just go standard ammo. It's better damage. 
All right, not too bad. Looked like CT hits there. Nice. Take that. Yeah, screw you. Reporting minor damage. Yeah, it's a narc though, buddy. So the one thing we're looking for out of this is a double heat sink kit. It's the main thing we need. Well, this is a this is a two and a half skull mission against Comstar. Quote unquote Comstar. It's Red Reapers, but obviously it's it's uh it's Comstar, but I mean hopefully we, there should be a double heat sink kit in here somewhere. The, the mechs on the mountain definitely uh definitely will have one somewhere. Alright, let's get up here. That's 14 on the Vulcan. Yeah, we don't just rockets on that guy. Once this guy gets a lot closer, it'll be a lot better, but. Special delivery! A couple hits, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll take that. Still got the Cloud Buster at the back. I was thinking about leaving it back there, but I don't think it's going to be any good if we leave it there because we're not going to be able to face these guys. Damage is light. But we're going to have, like, the large lasers aren't bad, but I'm receiving you. they really need to be ERs if they're going to be any effective, like, effective at all in this battle. So let's get down here. And we're going to shoot up this way, just because I don't want to shoot through my guys. Copy that, Commander. Yeah. I missed. No love on that strike. Yeah, no kidding. Who's going first here? A oh, weapons care hasn't gone yet. Okay. Fuck. Well, I'm glad I put another mech into the rotation. Yeah, hopefully we can get. Uh, that's not a bad solid line there. Can we get the? Um, I think so. Let's get up here. Gotta talk a little quieter. My, my uh, family's gone to bed here. Let's take a shot at this guy. Uh, let's hold off on the rockets till we can really get a good shot. But uh, I think the Vulcan uh, deserves a little bit of love here. Yeah, I mean, sure. We got a nice side shot. Well, let's just see what else here. 42. This is the one. We Have we hit this guy yet? No, we have not. He's in fresh. It's actually not that bad on him, though. Line holder. That's the Wavern. Large pulse laser, eh? Here's the guy we've hit. It's actually pretty comparable. So let's go after this guy. Gotta get those ACs off the battlefield. I can deal with the splash damage from the pulse lasers and the uh, like light, like the lighter, like the lighter uh, medium lasers and stuff. But those big ACs have got to go. Good to go. Um, let's go more. Uh, You've got more armor. Let's go more on this side. We'll let our lighter boys take the left side. Going full throttle. I gotta really worry about back strikes. I've been noticing a lot, a lot more friendly fire lately. Don't know whether it's in the coating or if it's just something I'm, I'm seeing somehow. But all right, let's keep going on this guy. Gotta pull him down this turn if we can. For orders. Yeah, our lighter guys can get in this way. I think. Yep, get right up in here. Already there. Get that speed working for us. Um, well, I want to front load some splash on this one. Mm, I'm going to save this for a clinch after this. Once we're a little closer and we have a better chance to hit, I'm going to use both these in one shot, I think. Okay, looks like we got some LT penetration and ammo explosion. He's done. Beautiful. 
hostile removed. Glad I didn't waste those rockets on him. I'm your spaniel. Let's get up here. Moving fast. Okay, okay on the Vulcan. Little better on this Centurion. This guy's the fresh guy. Waver, so it's really the Centurion is the best chance to hit. Um, yeah, because he's been CT hit already. So let's just go ahead and hammer this guy. Oh yeah, the laser hit. Beautiful. Was that? A, I don't think it was a CT hit though. Now we got a little bit of splash in the CT. Looks like we may have hit his arm. All right, who's next? Got hot wire. Igor. Waiting for orders. Igor, come here. It's pronounced Igor. Young Frankenstein, what a great film. It's funny, I've been trying to go back and watch all those old comedy films, and um, I just can't do it. Like, they used to be so hilarious, and now you watch them and you're just like, eh, yeah, it's kind of funny. You know, it's not, it just, Waiting on you, Commander. I don't know what it is. It's just maybe it's because I'm so used to seeing so much variety in comedy, like lately, or nowadays, it's hard to, to um, It's hard to be um, uh, subjective on the old stuff. Yeah, we don't want to be using the ultra through people like this. Let's get over here in the trees. Got it. Get ourselves Back to a half decent no position. Shooting. But we will use it against guys up here, I think. So we got 33 on this guy, 19, 24, 33 on this guy. Yeah, they do have another one. Chevalier. This guy's being annoying. So let's double shot, double shoot this guy. Hopefully the streak's hit, but we'll see. No sweat. Nice. AC and two streak hits. Beautiful. Looks like we penned. Yes, we did on the front. He goes on 10. Hopefully uh, Rose can go before him and get a large laser hit in the front. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. We got to get these centurions off the off the field here fast. Okay, who's next? Rose Marlin. Waiting for orders. Wow, it's so slow through here, but Roger, we got to get up here. So let's just push through, and then we want to try for this vehicle. Hopefully, we can hit the front and kill it. Taking the shot. We penned, but not the front. Crap. Well, that's the last shot we're going to do against him this turn, though. We're really going to get the bandit right up in here, and we're going to go after the centurion. Okay, not bad. Marlin, Marlin, Marlin. Marlin, Marlin, Marlin. I don't know if I ever told you the story. We had a neighbor... Uh, we don't want to do it that way. We want to go this route. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to Vigilance because I want to go faster next turn. I'm going to target this guy with high explosive and uh, give him some love. Alright, not bad. So we had a neighbor next to us uh, named Marlin. And, um, Standing by. He was a great guy, like he was a nice guy. And um, one day the cops Going came to his house, problem. raided his house, broke into his, like broke in, um, busted down his door. And this is, remember, you gotta remember this is Canada, so this shit never happens, right? Broke down his door, his wife is in there, she was pregnant, and they held her to the ground. They were freaking out because they thought this guy was like uh, a drug and arms dealer. And as it turns out, obviously he wasn't. Um, well, uh, uh, not obviously, but he wasn't. And apparently, there, and this really pissed me off, apparently the only um, information they had that led them to believe the guy they were looking for was him was the fact that he was black, his name was Marlin, and he was living in Hamilton. 
And I was like, what? Yeah, his wife told me the whole story. They broke down at the door. Police refused to pay for the door. The police cased their house afterwards. Um, I had uh, uh, plainclothes officers going up and down the street because we never have people like walking up and down the street, but there was plainclothes officers on the street, right? Because they didn't want to acknowledge the fact that they were incorrect about this guy. Anyway, so she had to she had to take them to court. She had to take the police to court over it. <laughs> and I'm like, if you make a mistake like that, you apologize. Like, it, I have nothing against the police. I don't, honestly. Um, but you need you need to be accountable for your actions. And if you make a mistake, then you know, like in anything you do in life, if you make a mistake, you say, "What do I do? What can I do to fix this?" First thing you do is. You, oh my God, we're taking so much damage. You pay to replace the door. Light damage. Hold right? Firm. You apologize for making the mistake that they made. Yet they would not acknowledge the fact that they made a huge mistake on it. They were, even afterwards, they were convinced they were right, but they had no evidence. No exa- You gonna step on me? Okay, well, open yourself up for back attack. I'm fine with that. Hit himself. Beautiful. I got lots of armor. Step away. Anyway, long story short, it was just, it's probably the most shocking thing that's ever happened at all in, like, in my life, I guess, to any of my neighbors. Like, that kind of stuff never happens at all, you know? And it's funny, you hear jokes about Canada and quote-unquote how safe it is and all that. And yeah, we do have crime up here. I'm not going to go around thinking we don't have crime and yes there's 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 gun crime you know physical um physical assaults murders things like that right um stuff like that does happen but you know i don't know it's just kind of shocking to have it happen next door anyway let's try and kill this guy he's given us himself so Got a good angle. all right i'm receiving you Get in the trees to mitigate some damage. And let's end this guy's life. Beautiful. Tango down. I have an explosion. Pilot injured. You. Pilot killed, you mean? Damn, son, you dead. Um. Okay, I want to go here, I think. I copy. We're a little farther away than I'd like to be then to the Centurion, but we're going to go after this guy and try and take his arm. And I think it's the time we use this rocket pack on this guy and hope we get enough damage to blow that arm off. Target locked. Go time. No, not anywhere near it. At least he's tagged. I'm out of SRM. Yeah, that's like the weirdest, like, ooh, weirdest police tale. Actually, there, I did have one that was, I don't want to say it's weird, but like, definitely, um, it was interesting. Like when I was, uh, when I was, what, 16, I guess. So that would have been 83, 1983. Yeah, 1983, I was 16. And me and a friend of mine wanted to become police officers. So my dad knew a, uh, knew a, uh, uh, detective. And he was like, do you want me to come and talk to you guys so you can, you can know what you're, what you're getting into, what to expect, all that kind of stuff. And we're like, yeah, that'd be great. Have him come and talk to us. So my dad invited the guy over and we sat with him for probably like an hour and asked him a ton of questions and what it was like to be a police officer and all that. And you know what completely turned me off of wanting to be a police officer? This guy was a detective, remember? This is the guy that investigates, you know, murders, things like that, right? He said to me, he said to both of us, he said, the hardest thing about being a detective on the police force is um, 
like no, like knowing who you trust, who you can trust, and who you can't trust. And we're like, what do you mean, like people on the street? And he's like, no, police officers. And this is in '93 or '83. Sorry. He said that he didn't know what what officers he could trust and which ones he couldn't. And I was like, how can how can you work in an environment not knowing if you can trust anybody you work with, let alone a police officer or anybody? Like, how how do you? But he said that was the hardest part of his job, is not knowing who he could trust. And I'm like, wow, that's... That it was just, it was very confusing for me. My friend still wanted to be a, become a police officer, and he did try. But he was told flat out. I hate to, I hate to say this, oh my god. There goes the Ultra Auto Cannon 10. I'm losing weapon systems. Yeah, I see that. That's why I want to get rid of these ACs. I guess we should have laid out the shutdown guy. Wow, you really want that guy. This cougar is having a bad time these past few episodes. There's a knockdown. Sorry, buddy. Oh, dang it, that hurt. Yeah, I know. Aye, aye. All right, well. Where is that Centurion? Well, we're all in on this Highlander, or the, uh, what's it called? Line holder right now, so. Let's get up here. This Vulcan hopefully will panic and run now that, now that we're up his nose here. But we're on this guy, so. Let's try to go through the torso here. We'll go. Reporting critical hit. So I'm not going to bail out, huh? Well, you got some ATM love and some uh, um, <laughs> small ER laser love coming up, so. Oh, a head hit? I'm wounded. Yeah, I see that. Wait, enemy units, 33%. Oh, yeah, we've killed. That's right, we killed two guys. That's right, okay. Yeah, anyway, it was like a very weird. I don't know why I'm thinking of this now. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm thinking of this now. Okay, so he's shut down now, too. Good to go. Alright, buddy. Um, let's don't get up here. Me twice. We're gonna walk it up because I want to get my stability back. I still don't trust the Centurion. Uh, we could go after his side and try and take that arm, but I think we're better off trying to kill this line holder if we can. So let's try and take this torso. Gonna leave the rockets off because he's already shut down still, so. Three hits, four hits to the torso. There goes the arm. Torso. When I shoot you, you'll There's the knockdown. Maybe we get a maybe we get a uh, bailout here. Nope, but he's dead. He is down. Okay, that Owens is pushing a little bit. Trying to knock us, but we're okay. Yep. Fuck. Yep. Not a damn thing I could do about that. Reporting. <sighs> well, we know who we have to go after. I'm moving into the open here because I'm hoping these guys will shoot for the vehicle. The vehicle's got tons of armor, so I'm hoping they go after that. God, he's got so much. I'm just going to shoot because I want lots of hits here. Okay, a bunch of hits. I don't know where they clustered. Probably the leg? Yeah. Yeah, looked like the leg. And it was the leg. So let's get into here. We're going to see what our chances against the Centurion is first. 46, that's pretty darn good. So we get something better over here. Which I don't think we're going to get. No, we're going to go against the Centurion here. Maybe we get lucky and pull that leg. Unlikely, but... Confirm. Nope, don't get anything. That's alright, we'll figure it out. We're almost cleaned up on this, on this left-hand side here. Yeah, you shoot me. 
I'm good with that. Wildbuster's got a fair amount of armor, so. I would have brought our other vehicle too, but we're, we're kind of, we're over 400 tons right now, so I gotta get some ex drop expansion on our uh, guys here to be able to drop higher weight. Oh, geez, I don't want to get there. 40%, huh? That's a lot better. Let's move into here. Location kind of turn our torso a bit. We're going to go ahead and uh, warlord this guy. Go after this guy. And we're just going to hammer him. Uh, we do have incendiaries, but I think we're better off doing more damage to this guy because he's running really cool. So. PBC hit. Okay, he's unsteady. Uh, when is he going? 19. Who do we have left here? We got giant slingshot. And that's it before he goes. Um, okay, let's see what our chance to hit is when we get here. Not the optimal location for this, but uh, pretty darn good. Warlord, confirm. Offensive push. Target this guy. We're going to go after this leg. Looks like we got it. We got his whole side. Solid connect. Okay, so there's the AC-10 gone. He's still alive, Waiting for orders. but completely useless now. Alright, now this guy... Half decent amount of armor, eh? What's he got in this armor? we know? I have no idea. Alright, um... I want to go for the finishing blow on that guy. I think what I want to do is take this Vulcan. Um, 6% for the head. 65, 22, eh? Let's go for this torso. Ah, we tandem this guy. How much armor do you have in the torso here? 60, eh? Um, I don't think he's got a, a, a XL engine. Let's just hammer him with what we have. Okay, a significant amount of damage on that guy. Waiting for orders. Okay, Igor. Really good chances on this guy. What do you have left? Like nothing. I think we need to imply damage to this guy liberally. Um, he's already warm. Let's go with the incendiaries. I gotta pull these guys down fast so we can get on the guys on the hill here. Nice. Put him over. That's a critical hit. You got All that right. Missiles, Aside. Going after the vehicle again. Taking minimal damage. Oof. Somebody's not enjoying the heat. Somebody is not enjoying the heat. All right, do we? Try and get into some trees here. And then we'll see what our chances to hit are across the board. I think we go after the Vulcan here. You know what? Let's just go for a, a quick uh, kill shot in the CT of this Centurion and get rid of it. I think we needed to do that. The Vulcan shut down, so he can't do anything this turn anyway. And this guy's like pretty much done done now. So who do we have left here? We've got the bandit, we've got this guy. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure where that was going. Get our spotter up in the hill here. Yeah, we'll be able to rotate our firepower over here in a second. I'm just worried about that big Gauss rifle up there. We're going to have to try and maneuver so that it can't get a direct line of sight on us until it's too late for him. Commander. Alright, um... Let's just Copy get that. into here. And... Go up to the torso, switch to HE. And go for it. There goes the torso. Go to critical hit. I wonder if that guy's running out of ammo. Be nice if that uh, Goss rifle ran out of ammo. Uh, do we need to keep you on those guys over there, Rose? I think so. Let's just back you up over here. Just give us some limited uh, fire suppression. 19, 24 on the weapons carry. Let's take a pot shot at the weapons carry. Maybe we get lucky. Oh, another hit, but not a kill. Oh, I take that back. Pilot ejected. Beautiful. I've had enough. Alright, now what side have you lost? That's the right side. So we're looking at the right side over here. Let's get over here. And let's use HEMO and apply liberally. Okay, who do we got? Commander. Blades up. Uh, I'm going to reserve blade. And slingshot can go there. Aye, aye. I'm gonna bring you back to here. We're gonna go low heat on this guy. Um, I want I want a kill shot in this guy. So let's drop. I'm gonna drop two pulses because I want some movement next turn. I'll go ahead and fire the rest. Okay, good damage. Not enough to kill, though. The guy's still shut down. He's standing in fire. He's not doing anything this turn. We might be able to finish him up with the eight, like the uh, ATMs here, depending on what this guy does. Damn you. Damn you and your narcs. Maybe that's what made me think of that uh, police thing. When I was <laughs> that guy's using narcs. Get, get it? Narc, uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, whatever. I got nothing against the police guys, especially if they're good guys. I just don't like people being dicks, that's all. Alright, um, let's try and finish this guy off here. Critical hit, Commander. Come on, bail out. Nope. Well, thanks for showing up, buddy. Systems holding. Oh, he managed to not to shut down, though. Okay, I think we need to start engaging over here. We're gonna reserve, though. Waiting for my opening. Both blade and gatekeeper are, are good for long-range fighting. So unless we have to engage back here to finish these guys up, I think we hold off. Let our other guys handle it. Commander. All right, Igor. Okay, what? Where? Where are you facing? Okay, you're facing that way. So I got to come up on this side of you, like this. And that should be proper. So he was running XL. Enemy 
enemy down. Okay. This is the guy I'm worried the most about. This guy's still shut down. So, who do we want to finish him off with? Who do we have? You know, you need to engage over here. Let's get to a position. Wait, who are you seeing fully? The vehicle. We don't want vehicle hit. We want to go after like the Spectre or something or Osprey. Let's try not to get in direct line of sight of that guy at the back. So like somewhere here, I think. If we can stay out of that Goss Rifle sight until these guys are down, then maybe we can pull that guy down in one, one big fell swoop. Okay, we're going to bring everything on here. Online, Owens. Spectre is still pretty well hidden. So I think it's the Owens. Let's take a shot at this guy. Ooh, the Ultra doing some work. That's what I like to see. The Ultra 5 has been working well on that, Mac. Okay, I think you need to start sprinting up this way. We don't want to see a direct line of sight on the guy at the back. Let's get to here. Affirmative. We're going to switch the ATMs up. We'll be able to fire, I think. No? It says 12%. Is it just at a range? Is that what it is? No, that's fine. Receiving you. This guy's all yours. This guy's all yours. Please kill him. That should do it, I think. Twenty-five. Lots of H E ammo firing. Beautiful. Not getting much salvage out of this, I know, but I'm here. we can't have more casualties like the cougar. Let's move back into the fray. Alright, we're going to start targeting the Osprey. Roger that. Nice hit. Alright, Blade. Let's get into here. Where that Osprey Understood. can't see us. Wait, what am I saying? I'm targeting the Owens, not the Osprey. That's the guy I'm worried about. Alright, let's just fire everything on this guy. Nice PPC hit. Beautiful. Weapons starting to hit when we need them. That's good. We are in cleanup mode. I don't know if the Osprey can f see us here. There's a line, but oftentimes the line will be drawn even though they don't have a direct line of sight to you. Confirmed. Oh, I guess they do. I guess they do have a line of sight to me. It's fine, we're gonna hammer this guy. Firing on target. Nice. Target eliminated. Let's start bringing this match to a close. Receiving you. Good thing they didn't get a drop ship full of guys. Uh, I'm just going to bring it into here for this turn. Full speed. It's going to protect me from that Osprey and then uh, we can start firing more stuff when we get closer next turn. Okay, one hit. We'll take that. It's nice. Light damage. Holding firm. Yeah, that Osprey could have been a nightmare. The only the only hit it landed was, was the uh, guy that was on the ground, the cougar. Glad it couldn't move though, because if it kept moving in, it could have been a big problem. Yes, Commander. Time to push. Full speed, no target. Oh, we got a target. That's Spectre. 
need to expectorate this guy. Engaging. Okay, tags on. That's what I love the most. All right, Igor. Oh, you can't shoot, but let's get the hell up there. Yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this Grendel. It's not bad. Like, the loadout isn't too bad. I thought about trying to drop an ER PPC on it, but like I said, it was hard to start sinking things. We need heat sinks, we need like lots of stuff. Uh, let's go with the ER on this guy for now. I think this, um, yeah, I'm thinking that this, uh, this bandit is a upgrade to the, uh, Polamos that we had, or Palamos, whatever it was called. It's working out pretty well. well I like the ATMs over the SRM6s and, and machine guns, especially since we have more turns of firing. Um, uh, yeah. Ooh, wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. It's interesting that he's going to indirect fire. Makes me like yes, makes me wonder if he's out of ammo. Like maybe he had a limited amount of ammo. But I don't think he fired, like he couldn't have fired, no, it's only round seven, he couldn't have fired eight, eight, like a full ton of ammo, because that's eight shots, right? Ooh, yeah, that's nice. This Cloud Buster's hit or, hit or miss. You know, it's either it does a half decent job in a battle or it doesn't. Yes, Commander. I just want to get um, some reliability out of it, you know? Let's get up to here. Confirmed. I'm almost considering not uh, directly engaging that Osprey and just using it, uh, like indirect fire for the whole uh, whole time on it. Yeah, we don't have range with that. Uh, fine. We'll go. Nice. Yeah, the mix of um, ATMs and MRMs is actually not that bad. Ready for orders. Uh, I think we need to. We're gonna go into the water, Firm. drop some heat here when we're firing on this guy. Yeah, we can engage with everything and drop all our heat. So I'm gonna save the uh, Warlord for when we go against the Osprey. So let's just fire on this guy. Firm. I think that PPC hit. Doesn't matter if it didn't. Look at the wheels. Awesome. Boarding. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Awesome. Commander. Um, yeah, let's just sprint. We're uh, gonna have yeah. to get up there, I guess. I wonder what that vehicle's got and why he hasn't moved. He must just be on the border that... Like, I don't know, he looks like he's inside. So I don't know why he can't fire. What do we got to hit this guy? That's actually pretty good chances to hit. 900 armor, eh? So he must be about 60 ton, 110, so 55 tonner, right? Because it's the internal structure is double, isn't it? And the torso double with the uh, weight of the mech is, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's 65. Wait, what? Internal structure 65. So we must. Is this a 65 tonner? No, I think it is. Well, doesn't matter. Firing on it. All right, sprint you up here. Wait, we had a line on somebody. Oh, that's the Osprey. We, we don't want that line. <laughs> I don't want him shooting Who the gas rifle at a 35 tonner. No, thank you. Or sorry, a 30 tonner. Commander. All right, Igor, keep going. Moving fast. Gonna get you and the storm crow up that hill. You got more armor than anybody else, so. 
I'm receiving you. 10-4. Okay. And then Marlin's gonna just sprint up there. Well, you even got the height advantage and can't hit us. Marlin. Do we want to go this route? Probably. I think it'll probably be faster overall. Wilco. Plus we're still indirect, so... Okay, 23. 13. So firing these guys. That's nice. That's like was like five hits or almost six hits. I think at least it looked like that. What? Awaiting orders. Looked like that. Close the gap. On my way. Double time. Keep dropping these missiles on this guy. Sorry, I'm kind of lackluster tonight, guys. I'm just this is like a Friday night for me, so it's after midnight here. I've been recording a couple of episodes. I want to make sure we have a bunch. Uh, for next week. Um, my Seven Days to Die campaign um, uh, Blasted Oasis is going to end this weekend. I got the uh, final episodes done and posted so be dropping those up this weekend and then I got to decide if I'm going to run another series right away for that or not. But I wanted to make sure I got enough of these up because I don't want to be missing days next yes, week um, where I don't post for for um, the Battle for Astro Cassie because I'm really enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying playing this and how it's turning out. It's giving me kind of ideas for the next one I do after this. Which will probably be a long way down the road, but still. Um, yeah, they can't see you. Let's get over here. Let's get over here. Right? Hopefully. Hopefully. Waiting for orders. Now, can we jump farther? Probably, eh? We sure can. Got it. Built in jump jets. Yeah, so that last battle with these guys, you took a lot of damage. Um, it would have probably been better if we had jump jets and everything for maneuverability, but I'm also thinking too, like I've, I've been going over that battle in my head um, and what could have been done differently, and I'm thinking Rather than backing away from the reinforcements that dropped, I probably should have just went right for them. Receiving you. Because then at least the artillery that was hitting us, which was continuing to hit us no matter what, go, go. would have been, you know, doing splash damage against their own forces. Plus I may have been able to get in and get some back strikes on those guys and kill them pretty quickly. We would have probably lost the same amount of stuff. But, um... We may have been able to pull that mission off. I don't know. Reporting. Negative it was definitely a tough one, that's for sure. With the, I was not expecting those Standing reinforcements. By. That was a complete shock for me. Here we go. But we got to expect that now that we're moving up in difficulty too, right? So Target confirmed. we're probably going to be staying at like the the uh, I'm here. two and a half. Um, you might as well just stay there two and a half uh, to three skull range with these guys, depending on who our opposition is going to be. So for instance, this was Comstar, so I knew they were going to be a little bit tougher than the regular units. Um, so it's two and a half skull. Three skull for regular guys. And then maybe at the most two skull if we were actually going to face clan units again for this stuff. Max, max two skull. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, our skull rating, it says five and a half, but like, I mean, it's just... By. Since you never know what you're getting with the enemy, um, it's really hard to know if that's actually how accurate that is, right? Because it just goes by dollar value, and that's not really that not really that accurate. I still got a lot of armor. Just keep shooting them. Got lots of ammo. Soften him up. Ready for orders. All right. Yes, Commander. Get ready for the kill shots Moving here. Moving to position. 
Getting ready for the kill shots. Firing on target. Okay. Good to go. Getting for position here. Right, Commander. In order to make this fair, if I was playing this game on the side, it was just me. Oh, I don't think I can get to that direct line of sight in the Grendel from over here. I'm gonna have to come up this way. Ooh, this is gonna be even trickier. I was just, I was gonna say this was just me playing on this side. Um, I'd either just sit back and, and engage these guys indirectly until they were dead, or, um... Waiting for orders. I would single shot them. I might as well just try and get her across the river. Why not? Confirm. Um, but I think I'm going to try and take them both on at once. Like move up so they can both see me and fight them. Just to give it a bit of a fair advantage. Because this guy is kind of landlocked there. Can't move. Receiving you. I mean we could just say he's, he's broke down. I'm not gonna have much room to fight up here. Orders. Like I mean, three, four. Okay. Where do I want you though? We're gonna have to start you know, five, five direct lines of sight here. I think I'm gonna put you here. This may be a bad idea. But we gotta do it. Osprey's Ghost Rifle's in the CT, I think. Uh, we better Warlord this. He's taking a fair amount of damage, though, so hopefully we can pull him down really quickly. Okay, there you go. Target eliminated. We killed this Ghost Rifle ammo. I'm ready. Still can't do anything, eh? Well, let's just get up to here. Alright, let's finish this guy off here. Light tank. BAP, eh? ER large lasers destroyed already on this thing, so... Doesn't got much. Commander? What do you think, Randy? Think you can take this guy out? Yeah, if we had the rockets still, we might be able to do it in one shot, but... Good damage. Commander. This would probably be it, though. Let's turn, hopefully not do any back Bomber damage move. to our ally here. This should be it, guys. A little bit of a slow finish, but... Finish nonetheless. Give them everything I've got. There you go. Oof. Reporting vehicle destroyed. One down, but 12 down for them. Mission successful. Okay, let's see what we got out of this here. I'm hoping for some half decent gear, but we'll see how we do. Now, what did we lose on the Cougar? It was the one side that we lost. So the AC-10 and all the ammo. Ultra-10. It's going to make things problematic. Like, I need a double heat sink kit if this thing's going to work again. At least we didn't lose any of this stuff. Alright. Well. That thing's been having a hard time lately. At least Hotwire didn't get killed. Alright, lots of mech parts. Line holder was 55. Osprey was 55. Okay. So that's... Yeah. Goss Rifle, LRM-10 Launcher, three medium lasers. <coughs> so not bad. Spectre Vulcan, so a lot of mech parts. A lot of these guys went down here without losing any parts, so that's good. Bolt-on tandem rocks, Goss Rifle M7, plus one accuracy. I'm going to drop it there for now. I would prefer using a clan one, but that might work. Streak 2 clan, Streak 4 clan. Oh, that's, you know what? These are from Armac that went down. 
I've been noticing that if your mech goes down in the battlefield, even though you don't... Like, did we lose the mech? I don't think we did. No, we didn't lose the mech, so we got the mech. But when it goes down, its loot gets added to the loot pile, which is kind of a cheat because if you've got a mech with good stuff that you want to replicate, you can get it killed in a fight, get the mech back, and then be able to select your gear again, because this is still going to be on the mech when we get it in the mech bay. We could take these two and have extra ones then, you know what I mean? It's kind of a bit of a cheat. So there's an XL engine we could go with, ballistic, that was from us. Missile hit, hit points. Prevent them from being shot down. Heat bank. No, no double heat sink kit. Sentinels, sentinel sensors. Three tons, though. Okay, counters ECM stealth by two. All right, not that bad. Missile range. We're using one right now. We, we don't need it. That's good for sea bills. Like, if you ever see two fusion cores like this, or fusion engines, that's 200,000 right there. Um, LRM Swarm Incendiaries. Ooh, that's interesting. SRM LK ammo. So yeah, there's nothing really here that I want, like, ridiculous. We'll take the lower arm. Because we don't have any of these, right? Yeah, we don't have any. We need them. Double heat sink. So there's no double heat sink kits here, so that doesn't help us in any way. Ballistic accuracy. I can't take that. That was mine. I could take this for sea bills. Yeah, there's nothing up here I really want. Mac parts we're leaving out because we want to stay with clan mechs. So, I mean, the narc launcher maybe, but this thing is so heavy. Like, it's two tons plus a ton of ammo. to give everybody a plus one to hit. Which we're, do, which we're doing with tags right now. What is the... Um, NARC beacon... plus 330 to all range brackets. Grant visibility on target. Counters ECM up to 12. Wow. That's actually really effective then. 100% easier to detect. 25% easier to see. Lasts for four rounds as opposed to, I guess, one or two, whatever it is. You know, I'm going to... I'm going to grab this. We don't have any narc launchers, do we? No. I'm going to grab it only because it's something that we haven't used. And this could actually work well in the Grendel. That's a possibility. If I can find a way to fit it in there. I think that might be a good uh, good addition to the Grendel. Yeah, I think we go that route. Uh, wait, was there any Goss ammo down here? Because we do have some Goss stuff, but you know, he lost his ammo. <sighs> do I take this then or do I go for C bills? You know what, I gotta hit my financial report. So I'm gonna grab that XL engine. Don't need the Goss Rifle right now. We'll worry about it later. Alright, we got a Centurion part, Chevalier part, Galleon, Vulcan, Weapons Carrier, Wayburn, one of each, so it's, I mean, we'll just end up selling it. Oh, we got the Goss Rifle anyway. Regular SRM2 Streak, which we can sell, which is 58,000, that's not bad. Beagle Probe, we've got three up, so I guess we can sell that one for 48. Sell the 80 core, the XL we're going to sell. Sell this, keep the double heat sink. Regular AC-10 ammo we don't need. LRM-5 ammo we got lots of. Machine gun ammo can go. So yeah, I mean, not too bad. We picked up a double heat sink and, a, and the Gauss rifle beyond what we selected. So that's pretty good. All right, well, I'm probably going to have to figure out another cool build for the uh, Cougar here. Because I don't know what to do with it at this moment. I mean, I guess since I got those LRM-20 launchers, I guess I could redo the Nova pull the AC-5 off of that, Ultra-5 off, and put it on the Cougar. Um, let's have a look at this guy really quick here. Um, yeah, so we lost the side. 
So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, if we had Goss ammo, we could probably put a Goss rifle on here. But the regular Goss rifles are just so heavy, you know? The clan Goss rifles are like three tons lighter. We could go this route, but I don't have heat sinking. That's the thing, right? Like, I don't have a way to sink the heat, so it's got to be a, a really cool build. And by cool, I mean temperature cool. MRM-30 is what? 27 heat. I mean, we could base everything around an MRM-30. And try and keep things cooler. That's 9 heat. You know, this is might be doable um, now that I think about it so MRM ammo what do we have incendiary and normal wow we like have no MRM ammo at all I mean we could go that route and add a heat sink can this go on this side it can we do have an extra one. So I'm wondering, because the streaks aren't going to be firing every single time, right? Um, yeah, man, we just need a double heat sink kit. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, the lower arm. I mean, if everything fires, we're five over. So that's not too bad. We do have the heat bank in here, which is not too bad at all. Do we have a better heat bank? Yeah, just, just no way to sink the heat here. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess we go that road for now. It's about as cool as I can get it. And still have a big weapon, like a, like a half decent weapon. We don't have any, like, I mean, I guess I could go with the pirate AC5. We have AC5 ammo? We got some AC5 ammo. We do have incendiary ammo for the AC5 too, but we're running that on the other playthrough too, right? So. I wonder, let me just see here. Because we could go with that kind of build. And just get rid of it when we don't need it, right? I can't use the arm with the ACs. That's st we still got two tons left over. How much heat does this put out? Not a lot, does it? Nine. So it's nine, eighteen, and then whatever this is, six. So I think we've got um, got another streak too. We could go with a streak, put put you there. Could go with a streak 10 build and an AC5 pirate. I've got the missile range um, sensors on here because the streaks, like they've got good range, they got 480 meters, but with the missile range sensors, sensors on there, it's almost 600 meter range, just shy of 600 meters. So they're a good, like really good mid to long range weapon, especially with the accuracy and evasion pips ignored. So that'll work well with this thing. So let's go this route. We'll play with it like this for a bit, see how it goes. I mean, the heat sinking should be great now on this thing, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, we could probably lose the heat bank and go with, do we have any, I don't think we have any big, uh, yeah, we've only got some small rocket packs. The heat bank is probably a better bet at the moment. So let's go with that, confirm this. And then I'll have a quick look at the Grano before we go. On it. I'll let you know Let's see if we can done. get that narc launcher in there. I think we have... We've got a warfare suite in here I could take out. The laser AMS is in here. Which I think we need on this thing. But I'd have to pull out the warfare suite and the laser AMS to get that in there. Um, what's our heat sinking like? I mean, we could pull out the heat sink and the warfare suite. Like, if we go this road instead, 
we were losing our heat sinking, but then at least that point we could get, um, where are you here? An arc launcher. And I didn't want to run with ammo in this thing because it's like, it's a close range fighter. But if we go that route, when we got the spall liner on here too, right? Reduces damage, 10% damage taken. Um, so yeah, I mean, we can go that route. That's not too bad. Yeah, let's see how we do without the warfare suite. I'm interested to see how this, how much this narc launcher is going to really help us out with, with hitting at long range. With our other guys, we can target our most important enemies with this thing. So let's go this route. All right, and I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also please drop any comments in the comment section down below. I always love the comments. And if I miss your comment, like I, I, I put a, uh, um, a, a, a like and a heart on every comment that I read. And if I miss your comment, it's important. Please comment again. I, I'm pretty sure I get everybody's comments, but if I do miss it, please just, like, like I said, re-comment and let me know. And I'll go back and make sure I read it. Um, but yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.